Up until the recent past, our understanding of our own evolution was limited to the fossils and artifacts left behind. But with the advent of ancient DNA analysis, a whole new world has opened up, offering access to the genetic secrets of our distant past. Welcome to Anthromedia. In this video, we will understand Denisovans and how ancient DNA analysis has helped us in understanding them. The Denisovans were an ancient human population that once roamed the Earth alongside the Neanderthals and modern Homo sapiens. However, nobody knew about them up until a path-breaking discovery in the Denisovan cave in Siberia. In 2010, an analysis of mitochondrial DNA extracted from a finger bone found in the Denisova cave in the Russian Altai revealed the existence of a new hominin taxon. This newly described group was found to be genetically distinct from both Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis. The bone, dating back to the initial Upper Paleolithic, opened up a whole new chapter in our understanding of human evolution. But it did not stop there. Thanks to the power of ancient DNA analysis, researchers have been able to piece together the story of the Denisovans, their migration patterns, and even their interactions with other human species. The Denisovan DNA has revealed fascinating insights into our own genetic makeup, such as their contributions to our immune system, metabolism, and even the ability to adapt to high altitudes. Since the early 1980s, researchers have been conducting excavations in the Altai region, unearthing several stratified Paleolithic sites. These excavations have revealed multiple habitation layers covering the last two million years of human cultural evolution. The most significant findings came from Denisova Cave in Siberia, where 13 habitation layers with Paleolithic artifacts have been identified. The cave's unusually complete stratigraphic sequence has allowed researchers to trace the evolution of the cave dweller's material culture deep within the prehistory. The small bone fragment, from a girl's little finger, discovered from the Denisova cave, was sent to Svante Pabo, the head of the Department of Genetics at the Max Planck Institute of Evolutionary Anthropology. Through genetic analysis, it was revealed that the bone belonged to a previously unknown hominin, which was named Denisovan after the cave. Subsequent analysis of a tooth from the cave also confirmed its Denisovan origin. In total, only five small and highly fragmented fossils found in Denisova cave have been identified as Denisovans based on DNA analysis. These fossils include molars named as Denisova II, Denisova IV, and Denisova VIII, partial phalanges named Denisova III, and bone chips named Denisova XI. Whole genome sequencing has been successfully conducted on Denisova III specimen, while poor DNA preservation and modern contamination have hindered nuclear genome analysis of the others. Outside of Denisova Cave, a mandible found in Beixia Cave in China was tentatively attributed to Denisovans based on proteomic evidence. Sediment DNA extracted from the site also confirmed the presence of Denisovans. These limited fossil findings suggest that Denisovans may have been widespread across continental Asia, island Southeast Asia, and near Oceania. Some layers of the Denisovan cave also evidence appearance of early Upper Paleolithic blade industry, as well as numerous bone implements and ornaments made before 40,000 years ago. This suggests that the Upper Paleolithic emerged earlier in the Altai region compared to Europe or Africa. The appearance of Upper Paleolithic blade technology is seen in other parts of the world, only with latter migrations of early modern humans after 40,000 years ago. The Denisovans were identified as a distinct group based on analysis of mitochondrial DNA sequences, which showed haplotypes outside the range of variation of modern humans and Neanderthals. Haplotypes are sets of genetic variants located on a single stretch of the genome, and they can be used to differentiate groups and determine their relationships. The mitochondrial DNA sequence of Denisovans, called Lineage X, indicated that they diverged from modern humans and Neanderthals around one million years ago. However, analysis of nuclear genomes showed that Denisovans are actually a sister group to Neanderthals, suggesting a closer relationship than indicated by the mitochondrial DNA data. The conflicting data between mitochondrial DNA and nuclear DNA arose because they have different patterns of inheritance and can provide different information about the relationships between groups. 
The mitochondrial DNA sequence of Denisovans is thought to be derived from an ancient hominin group that hybridized with Denisovans and introduced the mitochondrial DNA sequence. Molecular data suggests that the split between Neanderthals and Denisovans occurred between 380 to 470,000 years ago, while the branch leading to Denisovans and modern humans diverged around 800,000 years ago. The Denisovans are also more closely related to another set of fossils found in the Cima de los Usos cave in Spain, dated to 480,000 years ago, indicating that the split between Neanderthals and Denisovans must have occurred before that time. The study of ancient DNA has revealed significant genetic differences between Denisovans and modern humans. Denisovan genomes differ from the standard human genome by 11.7% while the difference between Neanderthals and modern humans is 12.2%. Denisovans and Neanderthals are closely related but distinct from Homo sapiens. Modern non-Africans have about 2-4% Neanderthal ancestry, while Denisovans did not contribute to the Neanderthal-human admixture. However, Denisovan ancestry makes up 3-6% of the gene pool in Southeast Asia, Australia, and Oceania. Denisovans show higher genetic diversity than Neanderthals, but lower diversity than modern humans, indicating a larger and more diverse population. Their geographic distribution ranged from North Asia to Southeast Asia. During the late middle to early upper Pleistocene, early modern humans emerged in Africa, Neanderthals in Europe, and Denisovans in Asia. Hybridization events occurred between these groups, suggesting a metapopulation that includes all three taxa. The Altai region, where Denisova Cave is located, was occupied by Neanderthals, Denisovans, and modern humans, although the precise timing and coexistence of these groups remain uncertain. The Denisova 11 girl represents an example of hybridization, with a Neanderthal mother and a Denisovan father. Denisovans carry genetic traits associated with dark skin, brown hair, and brown eyes, which are also present in modern humans. The Denisova three individuals' genome revealed a genetic component inherited from an unknown hominin ancestor that separated from Neanderthals, Denisovans, and modern humans around one to four million years ago. Denisovans likely played a role in adaptive introgression, where early Homo sapiens acquired genes from Denisovans that enhanced adaptation, disease resistance, and immune systems. The presence of human leukocyte antigens in modern humans, inherited from Denisovans, supports this hypothesis. For example, there are evidences that adaptation to high-altitude hypoxia among modern-day Tibetans is a result of introgression from Denisovans. The populations of Eastern Indonesians, Papuans, Philippine Negritos, Siberians, South Asians, and East Asians are among the few existing groups that exhibit substantial traces of genetic material from Denisovans. It is worth noting that the region of islands Southeast Asia and Papua, which consists of numerous densely inhabited archipelagos, holds some of the earliest evidence of early archaic humans outside Africa. Additionally, it is believed that archaic hominins like Homo floresiensis coexisted with modern humans in this region. Modern Australian Aboriginals and Papuans have the highest proportion of around 5 to 6 percent of Denisovan ancestry while American and mainland Asian populations have a smaller proportion, about 0.2%. This suggests interbreeding between Denisovans and early modern humans during the early dispersal of humans in Asia. Recent research has focused on using modern human DNA as a primary source of information to understand the substructure and geographic distribution of archaic hominins. New genomes from island Southeast Asia and Papua have been analyzed leading to the identification of two previously unknown groups of Denisovans, referred to as D1 and D2. These subgroups diverged from the Altai Denisovan lineage approximately 280,000 and 360,000 years ago, respectively. Both D1 and D2 groups interbred with modern humans, as indicated by genomes of modern-day Papuans. Some of the genetic mixing with D1 Denisovans appears to be restricted to New Guinea and nearby islands and may have occurred as recently as the end of the Pleistocene Epoch, making them among the last surviving archaic hominins in the world. The genetic diversity observed within the Denisovan lineage suggests their deep divergence and separation into three distinct branches across different regions. 
Branch D2 contributed to the introgression signal in Oceania and, to a lesser extent, in Asia. Branch D1 appears to be primarily confined to New Guinea and nearby islands, while Branch D0 is found in East Asia and Siberia. This indicates that Denisovans were capable of crossing significant geographical barriers, inhabiting a wide range of environments. The evolutionary history of modern Homo can be divided into three stages. Around 800 to 900,000 years ago, Homo erectus gave rise to a new species, possibly Homo heidelbergensis or Homo rhodesiensis, associated with the spread of the Acheulean industry in Eurasia. This species is considered the ancestor of Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans. Homo heidelbergensis migrated to Eurasia around 800,000 years ago, as indicated by the sites in Israel in the Levant region. Around 700,000 to 600,000 years ago, Homo heidelbergensis with Acheulean industries migrated to Europe, encountering late Homo erectus members. Between 600,000 and 200,000 years ago, Europe had around 10 different hominin populations with variations in biology, culture, and lithic industries. Gene exchange between them resulted in the emergence of Neanderthals around 200,000 to 150,000 years ago. Around 450,000 to 350,000 years ago, certain Homo heidelbergensis from the Levant migrated to the Iranian plateau and further to Central and North Asia, including Denisova Cave in southern Siberia gave rise to Denisovans. This migration marked splitting of late of Homo heidelbergensis into Neanderthals and Denisovans. The stone tools of Denisovans in Denisova Cave shows similarities to those found in the Levant region, specifically in Israel and Syria. It represents a transitional period between the Lower and Middle Paleolithic industries. During the interval of 450,000 to 350,000 years ago, late Homo heidelbergensis migrated eastward from the Levant to regions such as Turkmenia, Kazakhstan, and Mongolia, as indicated by the appearance of Acheulean industries in those areas. Their likely route was north of the Himalayas and Tibet. The mandible found in Baishia Cave in the northeastern Tibetan Plateau dates back to at least 160,000 years ago. The presence of Denisovans in the region is also supported by the adaptation of Tibetans to high altitudes possibly through introgression from Denisovans. Late Homo heidelbergensis, following an eastward migration from the Levant, hybridized with late Asian Homo erectus, and acquired a small portion of archaic ancestry through adaptive introgression. This may explain the presence of erectus-like features in the late Pleistocene skullcap found in Sawkit, northeastern Mongolia. Homo rhodesiensis and archaic Homo sapien remained in Africa and became the ancestor of anatomically modern humans. The transition from Homo rhodesiensis to Homo sapiens occurred gradually between 800 and 200,000 years ago. The transition from archaic to early Homo sapiens is documented by fossils finds from different regions of Africa, such as Omo, Herto, and Jebel Erhoud. Early modern humans appeared in southern Africa around Clazy's River Mouth, and the West Asia in Skull and Kafse at the beginning of the Upper Pleistocene. As early anatomically modern humans migrated out of Africa between 80,000 and 40,000 years ago, they encountered Neanderthals and Denisovans and intermixed with them. This interbreeding resulted in the transfer of genes that enhanced the immune system and facilitated adaptation to new environments. Overall, the discovery of Denisovans has expanded our understanding of human evolutionary history, highlighting the complexity of our ancestral past, the diversity of hominin groups, and the dynamic interactions that shaped our species. It has emphasized the importance of genetic and archaeological research in unraveling the intricacies of human evolution.